Hello, it's T with T Quilts, and today we are doing, I guess, finishes for the month of July. Although these finishes have already been done, but I wanted to come and show you the birthday challenge blocks that I asked you all to send me in 2018 for my birthday. I've got all but two or three quilts done. I have to check my list to make sure, but I thought that since I didn't have a lot of quilt related finishes this month that I would share with you some other things. is that I've created a pattern by request of some of my YouTube subscribers called the pineapple quilt fair and square and so I actually created that pattern uh, got it uploaded and then I had to create the pattern with templates in order to mail it out so I will put various different things on the screen as I'm talking about them as well in addition to that pattern I then had to mass produce them I think I sold about 30 of them this month somewhere in that neighborhood and so it took a lot of time to actually do that because I didn't already have it set up. And also this month I had a lot of t-shirt requests. I had some t quilts shirts. I will put pictures of what I did take here. I also had somebody order a bag. And then I also made some Black Lives Matter shirts. And I also made Good Trouble Vote shirt so I'll be putting various things up here on the screen for you to see in addition to that I've also been selling the wood items made by the wood turner that I have been affiliated with and so that's been also taking a lot of my sewing time and then the only sewing time that I've actually had for myself this month is that I've been working on my pineapple blocks and I have 28 blocks done at this point working on another four so pretty soon I'll have 32 blocks but just thought that I would just throw that in as well so I'm gonna go ahead and take you around my deck so that we can get started with the show and tell so first up we have Dee Dee's quilt it's the jelly roll rail fence quilt that I have directions for on my YouTube channel I'll try to leave a link up at the eye above for you so you can see that if you haven't seen it already but this is her second time making this quilt and this time she did it with more purple and blue tones she also wanted um, denser quilting so I will show you that as well just had a dragonfly land on your quilt right there look at that He's just made his home think it's a flower that's funny but very pretty colors lilac and I'm going to just leave it there for a second so you can see some of the quilting on it and then I'm going to go up and just flip a little bit of it around so you can see the actual quilting so some of you all like to see the backs of the quilt but it's this really cool panel that she has on the back and then she added the it's actually navy blue and white I think or black and white on the outside edges to make it big enough so I lost I lost my battery while we were looking at Dee Dee's quilt so I'm going to try to quickly get through these I am now showing you the quilts that I had my hand in in the making of the blocks these blocks were from my birthday challenge in 2018, two years ago. I'm still waiting on a couple more quilts, hoping that they come in soon. So I just wanted to show you all what I have here because I am wanting to get this donated. Now this quilt here is actually not one that I've had my hand in. This quilt top was made by Eric Oda uh, because of the quilting on here. 
but it's a straight strings block here and then over here is another straight strings block this one is by me so that's number two and this camera is going to be a little jumpy because I'm having to pick it up and I've got all kind of bugs flying around me from the rain so it's a little bit different today this one here is a diagonal strings quilt I really like it I had some blocks that were kind of doubled I have to go up on the deck I guess and show you those but I did just spiral quilting on this one looks very pretty and I forgot to see what quilting I did on here I just did loops okay but I like uh, that these quilts are like 70 by 90 so they'll go for a really big uh, queen bed on the back I basically just was using scraps for the most part anything that I had available somebody had donated this blue fabric here so I used that on this one on this quilt here this was also donated fabric from a YouTube subscriber so I used it on the back of that one here is a crazy quilt I know I'm all over the place today guys it's hot and I can't think <laughs> and um, this one was really fun I love just putting random pieces of fabric together and let's see what I put on the back of this one somebody donated a top that was just like maybe four inch squares that they had sewn together and I didn't necessarily want to do another top because I had at least enough for ten quilts so I just put the rest over fabric from the previous donation in and this one just has random wavy lines for quilting this one here I did not have a hand in we actually did this pattern at uh, my scrap quilting club this is by Becky she pieced this by the film at five pattern you can find it online just google film at five you'll find this design but instead of putting in I think they had like a 25 patch she just used the crazy crumb blocks very neat on the back of this one I did do the quilting and on this one I did loops again and on the back was just some fabric I think that I had in my stash I don't know if it was donated or not I can't remember on that one this one here was donated by Vicki Robles she donated the quilt top and then I did the quilting on here and this one is just diagonal wave lines as well let's see what's on the back so on the back of this quilt is some Rams fabric when the Rams left St. Louis uh, people were actually getting rid of their Rams fabric and so some lady just donated this fabric and I just decided to put it on the back of a quilt Here is another quilt top, same as before, donated by Vicki Robles. And on the back, it has the Rams fabric too, but it's the yellow background Rams fabric as the highlight. So I'm not gonna go up and show you that one. And then this last quilt top was donated, and I can't remember the maker's name, and I'm, I apologize for that. And this quilt is really big. I think it's bigger than 70 by 90, if I'm not mistaken but I just loved doing it I like the design love the fabric choices so thank you so much for donating this quilt and I know who it is but I'm just blocking right now and then on this one I just did those random spirals again so I have a couple more quilts that were made using these blocks or donated during this time I'm going to switch these quilts out on my deck and I'll be back with two that were done by members of my small quilting club I have swapped out a couple of quilts these are the last two to show you this one is made by Sarah so it's the straight strings and she did spiral quilting in this as well I'll go up and show you this quilt so there you can see the quilting I just love all the colors in the block and then she did these diagonal on the side for her borders thought that was really nice as well and then here 
is she used a mix of stuff for the back. And then right here we have the one that Jennifer made. She used the crazy quilt blocks as well. Very pretty. Love it. She just did some offset squares. I love her quilting. So instead of going just corner to corner, she also made sure that they came through. She's making like these um, inner squares here by going diagonally both ways, but she didn't do it just in the ditch. So when you see it on the quilt, you actually see the floating squares, which is really, really cool. And uh, let's see what Jennifer put on the back. She put just a plain border, which was fine. And she used this material here on the back. We all got to see some eye candy. Uh, it's been kind of a crazy month for me, so I probably got this video all um, messed up. But just another closing shot at Dee Dee's quilt here. I'm going to just take a picture of it before I close out. But thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you next month, hopefully, with uh, some other types of finishes. But we'll see because I'm still busy processing orders at this time. Thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to like comment and subscribe share my channel with your other quilting friends and i'll see you in my next video bye bye t quilters stay blessed